broke my heart on the road. Spend the weekend. Hey, makeup lovers. So today we're going to be doing basic skin makeup. So make sure your skin's taken care of before you put anything on it. Um, I'm going to get started. This is Max Moisture Infusion Serum. Um, I have really dry skin. So to make sure my skin doesn't get oily throughout the day, I'm using this amazing modifier by MAC. It's called Skin Refined Zone Treatment. You're just going to place it right on your T-zone. And it's actually going to help you um, without getting oily. So immediately after that, I'm using a primer. Uh, this one's called Fortified Skin Enhancer. It's by MAC. It's got an SPF of 35. Don't forget to wear SPF. Um, it's really important you're protecting your skin. I'm going with this one. It actually has a orange tint to it. And the color is called Recharge. Make sure you're using enough skincare so you're not just bombarding your skin with makeup. I'm going to use Max Match Master Foundation. Um, the color I went with is 7.0. This foundation is great because um, it's not um, a yellow tone or a red tone. It's kind of ambiguous in between both and it's actually going to mold to the pigment on my skin. So then I just buff with that same brush I've been using. Max 187 brush. It looks like that. It's supposed to mimic airbrush makeup too. So that's why you blend in all directions. I'm using this concealer by MAC. It's Studio Finish NW35. Um, that's the color. I'm taking it and I'm highlighting the higher planes of my face just going under my eye into my hairline. And that blemish there, I can just dab on there with that concealer because it'll hold. So now, just to give myself some more dimension because now it's so even, I'm using Max 193 brush to do some contouring. And I'm using just a darker concealer. And I'm going under my cheeks and lightly giving it a little bit more warmth. So I'm using Max Sunrush Luster Drops. Um, it's gonna give me a little bit of texture. I like a little bit of glow. It's literally like gold leaf in a liquid. So I'm dabbing a little bit under my eyes and bringing it into that temple area a little bit and then buffing it with that big brush. What's great about this brush right here, you can use it for powder as well. I'm using Max Mineral Powder in Medium Deep. I'm fluffing it pretty much everywhere, but very lightly. So for my eyebrows, like usual, I like to use Max 204 brush, which is that comb brush. And, I'm and then I'm taking um, Charcoal Brown Eyeshadow by MAC, which is an ash brown again. Now I'm just going to go ahead and use this brown right here, corduroy eyeshadow. I'm taking it with that same brush, and right at the bottom of my brow, I'm going to put the darker color on there to make it seem like my brow has a stronger shape, but just not too, too strong. Wherever you feel like it needs to get a little bit darker, go ahead and fluff that color in. So now I have a really bushy brow. I want it to be completely perfect, so I'm taking that same concealer I had used under my eyes, the NW35 Studio Finish by MAC, and I'm using MAC's 214 brush, and I'm going to sculpt that eyebrow around it. So now that my skin looks a little bit more perfected, don't forget to put some sort of hydration on your lip. I'm using Max Tender Tone um, in Purring, that's the name of it. It's just an orange, clear something something to give my lips some shine so I don't look so dried out and dead. And that's it, you're ready to go to work. You're ready to go to your law office, you're ready to go to a makeup counter if you work on a makeup counter, you're ready to go to work on TV, you're ready to do anything with this look. I hope it helps, guys.